wait to get on the road again. <laughs> so, uh, eastward the wagons hope. <laughs> I am going on a road trip. And I'm going to try to do this in less than 15 minutes, less than 10 minutes. I am going to be heading to the Black Hills of South Dakota. Very cool, very cool. We are going to be looking at Rapid City, Sioux City, and Brookings. I believe it's Brookings. I do not have a hardline itinerary. Today is Sunday, November 15th. Sunday, November 15th. And I will be back by Sunday a week from today. <laughs> For sure. As you can see, we are in the Mojave Desert. I'll flip you around here. You put that out there while I'm talking. I just came up over the... Uh, I just came up over the Tatchby Mountains. I'll roll in some pictures of Tatchby here while we're talking about it. Um, as we're well going through. Those are from today. Those aren't stock photos from whatever. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, too cool. Gonna go check out South Dakota. End of freeway. Nice. Gonna go check out South Dakota. See what it's all about. Uh, I hear it's a really cool place. Hopefully on the way back I have time to swing up through the Grand Canyon. I would really like to see the Grand Canyon. Never seen it before. I am so tempted right now <laughs> to stop at some point and get a drone. I, but I'd have to learn how to do the thing anyway. I don't know. That, that probably won't happen. But I'm really tempted to do it. So, uh. Yeah, Mama was going to come with me. Uh, if she takes a week off, she's going to get paid for it. I get, I'm get i getting paid for the whole next week. It's vacation, paid vacation. So uh, that she had something with the kids' school uh, to deal with. So she said, I she bailed on me at the last minute. No worries, no worries. I go alone. Gabe expressed interest in going. But if I take him, i got to get a hotel room every night. i got to double up on the food. I have... Uh, a bed in the back. All the seats are laid down and I have a bed made up. I'll go through the, the camping setup uh, in another video. This is just kind of to prime the trip and tell you that I'm going. Um, I have enough breakfast in there for eight days. Tortillas, bacon, and eggs. I have cheese, lunch meat, uh, salami and turkey she got me, and crackers and stuff. I have Dr. Pepper's and I got plenty of water. Um, I brought my little coffee pot for the breakfast stuff and my favorite coffee mug. So uh, every other night I will sleep in the car and every other night I will get a hotel. The, uh, the intent is to talk to some real estate agents, kind of see how the cities are. getting about time to get out of California, some people are thinking they're about five, six years late in my book, but you know 2014 would have been the time to get out of California when I had a good job not in California but oh well sometimes things just don't go that way you gotta do it another way, so here we're doing it we're at least checking it out um, I've been on a road trip forever it's kind of cool. It's me and Ben the last time. It's been several years. So. And that's when I bought this vehicle for At some point, I'll kind of talk about this car again. This thing's been fantastic. Uh, we haven't had any serious issues with it. On a trip like this, it tends to get about 30 miles to the gallon. I stopped and got gas uh, before I left, which, you know, is not smart because everywhere else it's a dollar a gallon cheaper than in California. I only put 2.8 gallons in it, so what I, I spent an extra three bucks. I like starting a road trip out with a clear tripometer, and uh, this had, I 
think 51 miles and we've got 70 miles now so there's 120 miles on the service it just got serviced new cabin filter new engine air filter full fluids change everything's good uh, and a full tank of gas right like I said this thing tends to get 30 miles to the gallon that's pretty good I think uh, yeah 5 minutes that's not bad um, I heard that Newsom the governor of California is talking about if you're coming back you have to do a 14 day uh, self quarantine self isolation I won't be doing that uh, as soon as I get out of this stupid idiot state. I will be uh, I will be not wearing a mask anywhere, <laughs> and I will be so happy about that. Uh, I, I'm not doing some self quarantine. If they want to arrest and detain me and put me somewhere where I can't interact with other people for 14 days, then I don't have a choice on that. It's a self-isolation thing. We won't be doing that. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. They want to charge me with something. I know a couple of lawyers. I know one in particular that, that uh, my lawyer, <laughs> would be very happy to make some money off of that case because uh, I'm going to sue him for damn anything and everything. I can get millions of dollars off to, to hell with this. He just got told uh, his lockdown stuff is edicts for Thanksgiving, all that crap is unconstitutional, illegal. Shut the hell up, Newsom. Anyway, uh, we're going to go visit a state where they're not doing all this stupidity. I can't wait to not be in California. <laughs> so, one more thing I'll cover. We're at seven minutes. That's not bad. That's a lot better than previous uh, attempts. One more thing I'll cover is this is the intro to the trip. I'll probably be doing like a video a day uh, to show you some of the scenery, some of the things I'm looking at. That'll be kind of cool, huh? Anyway, uh, one other thing to cover before I hang it up. In the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty. You cannot be punished until you are, you know, by a jury of your peers. It's people like me and you have to say that you messed up. Just get to railroad you. In several states, they have a practice called civil asset forfeiture. I don't know what the thing is in the states that I'm driving through. I'd be going through Nevada, uh, Utah. Uh, I don't remember for uh, be going up around the Black Hills Park and down through Sturgis is what it says. If I have time, I'll try to drive through the park. I would like to see that. So. Uh, I'd rather go to Sturgis on a motorcycle once I live there, <laughs> if we can get to where we live there. But uh, the civil asset forfeiture thing, what they will do is they'll pull you over. They can say they suspect you're doing criminal activity of some sort, right? And uh, what they can do is they can seize any assets of value in the vehicle. Like I said, the states I'm going through, I don't know that they have this. I'm not going to take a chance, so... What I've done is I've taken my debit card and my other three credit cards there in an RFID protected wallet, and that is hidden inside the vehicle under a few panels, under two panels. You have to go digging for it. You have to disassemble some of the car to get at it. I need that stuff in case I have an emergency. The extra cash that I have, uh, I keep $100 on me all the time. It's hidden. You know, if they find it, they find it. But, uh, I have like $20 in cash in my pocket with my one credit card. I have about $25 in coins in case I come across a toll road. Uh, 15, 20 bucks in my pocket right now. I don't think it's that much, like 10, 15 bucks. The one credit card I have is the smallest credit card that I have. It's only good for $2,000. I can't really afford to have them rip me off for $2,000. I really can't afford to have them go through the other credit cards and nail me for, you know, over $10,000. So, that stuff's hidden away. Hopefully, if, if that comes up, they don't pull me over at all. Hopefully, I won't have any law enforcement interaction.
actions, not because I'm planning on doing illegal shit, just because I just don't want to deal with that. Definitely hope we don't have to deal with this civil asset forfeiture thing. Yeah, you have to go back to the court in that state, in that county, and you have to prove to the judge that you weren't doing anything wrong. To get your money back, it can take six months to a year. You have to be there. When you go there, you have to be there. You know, so, which for uh, $2,000 on one card, it's probably cheaper to just let it go. You know, just let it go. Uh, another good idea little animal of some sort bouncing across the highway. Another good idea is you can go to Walmart, you can get a prepaid visa and put like 500 bucks on it. That way they're only nailing you for 500 bucks. <laughs> Make sure everything else is hidden or just don't take it with you. You can call the bank or use your banking app to load that visa from anywhere, you know. Only keep a couple hundred dollars on it at a time. That way if they, and they, they do, they, and the cops in some states, they, uh, they have a credit card machine in the car. They can swipe your card and max it out. You know, and I've, I've read a lot of stories about that. So. Anyway, if you're traveling across the United States, a lot of beautiful scenery to look at. I'll share some of that with you on this trip. Uh, Got to be careful about that other thing. And coming back, I don't know, speaking of illegal uh, laws. <laughs> speaking of Gestapo thugs enforcing unconstitutional laws uh, that 14 day thing I don't know anyway road trip time baby like I said no hard line uh, no hard line itinerary just going and doing and, uh, yeah too cool where am I going I don't know when will I get there I ain't certain all that I know is I am on my way <laughs> Go do it. So there you go. That's under 15 minutes. That's a better intro yet. You guys have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Probably tonight. <laughs>